James Franco has insisted the sexual misconduct allegations made against him are not accurate. Following his Best Actor, Musical or Comedy win at the Golden Globes on Sunday night, 07 Jan 18, three women came forward to accuse Franco of inappropriate behavior. The Breakfast Club star Al Ashidi was the first woman to suggest her co-star in the off-Broadway play The Long Shrift had behaved badly, tweeting, James Franco just won. Please never ever ask me why I left the film, TV business. Noting the anti-sexual harassment movement that was a big talking point throughout the ceremony, she added, Why is James Franco allowed in? It said too much. Her tweets were quickly deleted without explanation, and during his appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on Tuesday night, Franco insisted he had no idea what she was referring to. There were some things on Twitter, I haven't read them. I've heard about them, he said, before referring to Shidi, I have no idea what I did to Al Ashidi. I have total respect for her. She took the tweet down, I can't speak for her. Shidi's remarks prompted others to take aim at the actor, with actress Violet Paley accusing Franco of exposing himself in front of her and offering her and a few other girls an overdue, annoyed, convenient phone apology two weeks ago. And actress Sarah Tyler Kaplan tweeted, Remember a few weeks ago when you told me the full nudity you had me do in two of your movies for $100 per day wasn't exploitative because I signed a contract to do it? However, Franco once again hit back at the claims, telling Colbert that while they are not accurate, he is willing to address the allegations and fix it if he's done something wrong. The things I heard are not accurate but I completely support people coming out because they didn't have a voice for so long," he explained. I don't want to shut them down in any way. I think it's a good thing and I support it. I can't live if there's restitution to be made. If I've done something wrong, I will fix it. I have to. I don't know what else to do. As far as the bigger issue of how we do it, I really don't have the answers. I think the point of this whole thing is that we listen. I'm here to listen and learn and change my perspective where it's off. I'm completely willing and want to. Franco's appearance on The Late Show came just hours after an upcoming Times Talk event, run by the New York Times, at which he was set to appear with Brother Dave, was abruptly scrapped without explanation amid the allegations against the actor.